Good afternoon. Some of you may have already heard about this. Um, you may or may not have. Um, a brother of ours sent me a link from that uh, bull guy, uh, Bull Hansen, whatever his name is, talking about um, disease X. I've also heard uh, that um, the Marvels might be making a comeback. Some brethren have sent me links about that, talking about that. And um, some of you might have heard about this. Some of you may not have. I do not know. I do not know. But um, I find it very interesting. Here in America, a selection is coming up. A selection. And you, my American countrymen, in the description box, okay, uh, people, don't vote. Your vote means nothing. Your vote is useless, vain. It's meaningless. Okay? The Jesuit order, Roman Catholicism, owns and controls this nation. It's China. Well, who do you think's in control of the world right now? You think it's China? No, it's Rome. Okay? It's Rome. Roman Catholicism. If Rome wanted China out of the way, Arturo Sosa could manipulate everything to where um, those that have nuclear weapons could obliterate China. Okay? Rome is the one that rules the world right now today. Okay? Behind the scenes. Rome, the Jesuit order, the Vatican, owns, operates, and controls America. Okay? Your vote my countrymen, means absolutely nothing. It's, see, it's the suspension of disbelief, okay? That's a term used in a theater, okay? Go ahead and look that up. Your vote is useless, meaningless, pointless. And to quote George Carlin, uh, I have every right to complain about the crooked uh, politician that you put in that I had nothing to do with if, if, our votes actually meant something. They don't. They don't. The Jesuit order is going to select a scapegoat, focal point, for people to point to. Just like how the Jesuits use all the front groups to protect themselves, to shield themselves. Like the Freemasons, okay? The Freemasons are operated, run, and controlled by the Jesuit order, not the other way around. Okay? Hence... People will get fixated on the Freemasons, okay? The Illuminati, okay, which was created by the Jesuits, okay? But, see, the Jesuits have all these front groups to defend them, you know, so they could take the blame. Same thing with uh, putting a puppet president in there. And here's the interesting thing about all of this, okay? A selection is coming up. A selection is coming up. All right, and right here in America, they have it so Smokey jo Smoking Joe and Kamala Harris. Okay, they're they're the scapegoats. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, right now, things are really bad here in America, and those two guys that uh, Smoking Joe and Kamala, they're being made to look like fools and imbeciles, which they truly are. Okay, but see here in America. America has been so subverted, okay, so subverted, so deceived, that the Jesuits can get along, get away with almost anything in this country now, okay? And keep in mind, my American countrymen, the woke mentality that is out there, the woke thing, okay, that's very significant, all right? Very significant. And think about how sensitive people are being nowadays and calling evil good and good evil. Okay? This population here in America, it's not going to take that much to cause a revolt one against another. Think about it. If the Jesuit order reinstitutes the muzzle, okay? The woke 
the idiots are probably going to be the ones that are going to be the primary ones who push it and say you're evil and not doing that. But there is a whole other group within America which is like, dude, that happened years ago. I'm not doing it. And you shouldn't do it, just so you know where I stand. But here's the point. It is called the Hegelian dialect or the Hegelian principle. Okay? The greatest way to destroy a nation is to destroy it from within, where the enemy doesn't have to fire a single shot. Okay? Have you ever read Sun Tzu, The Art of War? Okay? All right? And that is what has happened to America. America has been invaded. Yes, it has. Through the immigration thing. Okay? It has been invaded. There are all these, as they call them, sleeper cells, uh, loyal to the Vatican, that will pop up and spring up at any given moment. In Canada, eh, they got uh, Chinese troops. In Cuba, there are Chinese troops. Now, granted, a nation that would openly, openly invade America, that would not be bright, okay? Because us Americans, we like guns. And I agree with this, amen, amen. If they're going to come before your guns, my American countrymen, give them your bullets first. Amen, amen. We have the right to arm bearers or the right to bear arms, whatever you want to do, okay? We do, we do. And them trying to take our guns from us, that's not going to be successful. But even if we are invaded by a foreign power, openly, they know that they're going to have a problem on their hands because uh, a lot of us still have guns. So what's the best way to do to destroy this nation? From within. You see the woke thing. The kindredism is out off the charts. People are uber sensitive about all this stuff nowadays. America is at the brink of collapse. Okay? And when an, uh, when an army is near, prices go up. You can read about that in The Art of War. Oh, oh, one moment. One moment. Sorry about that. You, you don't see that. But... Every, at least once a year, I like to read The Art of War, okay? They say this, this was written in like 400 B.C. By, the, by Sun Tzu of the House of Sun. We, we really don't know. There are those out there that believe that this is like Mein Kampf, written by a Jesuit, written by the Jesuits and attributed to Sun Tzu, okay? Whatever. But I want to read this to you from Chapter 2 of The Art of War. Very interesting. Poverty of the state exquenture causes an army to be maintained by contributions from a distance. And the enemies in this country are being funded by Rome, the Vatican. Absolutely. Okay. Look at Black Lives Matter. They were funded by Soros, a Jew, a traitor to his people, funded by the Vatican. You look up on George Soros, that guy betrayed his own people and started working for the Nazis. The Nazi party was funded, controlled, and operated by the Vatican. Okay? Contributing to maintain an army at a distance causes the people to be impoverished. Ooh. Kind of like with what America is doing with Russia and Ukraine. There are people that need that kind of help around here, but yet they're shipping it all to uh, overseas to fight the Vatican's, uh, um, you know, uh, theater of operations or whatnot. Yeah. On the other hand, listen to this. The proximity of an army causes prices to go up. And high prices cause the people's substance to be drained away. When their substance is drained away, the peasantry will be afflicted by heavy exactions. Let that roll around in your head. Think about that. On the other hand, the proximity of an army 
causes prices to go up. We here in America, we are seeing some pretty big inflation, uh, almost uh, weekly. For example, I go to Wally World. I get a can of uh, 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 peas for a dollar ten. Next week I'll go and it'll be a dollar forty. It's escalating. It's escalating. Why is that? Why is that? Hmm? Hmm, why is that? Well, I think. <laughs> On the other hand, the proximity of an army causes prices to go up. And high prices cause the people's substance to be drained away. Hmm. What army is, what army is present? Hmm? The thing about immigration, okay? And all the sleeper cells, as they are called, within America. Think about it. Where these people at the behest of Sosa would spring up just like that. Think about it, people. Think about it. And with how touchy and how sensitive and how woke things are right now, America is on the brink of, brink of collapse. The brink, I believe, of some kind of civil unrest. Because if they bring back the uh, before the selection, um, number one, it could be used to elevate um, for the cause of the suspension of disbelief. It could be used to elevate the likes of the, they call them liberals, which um, are smoking jar which are personified by Smoking Joe and Kamala Harris. What's the other thing? You have Trump, Napoleon Bombard, <laughs> who is the answer to this, right? Who's like, he's saying that he would stop all, he would stop the thing in Ukraine and bring all, no, 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 no. If they select Trump, It's going to be worse, but yet in a different way. Mark my words, saints. You people, you mark my words. Okay? See, what is happening? Let me put it to you this way. The Jesuit order is controlling here in America the Democommies and the Republicans to do what? To bring out their, to bring about what they want. What is that? The destruction of America. The destruction of America. You and I can be alive to where we can see the fall of this nation. And it will be an implosion. Okay? It will be an implosion. Not an explosion. America will fall in on itself. Most of you of other nations realize that America is going to implode. Fall in on itself. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time, dear friends. Before this happens. Okay? And the hostilities that are in this country, the woke, the non woke, the muzzled, the unmuzzled, it's all put there with the intention to cause friction. So that we may fight, kill, and brutalize one another while the Jesuits just sit back and watch it happen. The most effective way to destroy an enemy is not to go at him head on, which is the no more noble, if you were, way to do it, go right at him. No. No. The better way is to drop little dirty bombs, to do these little things so that they tear each other apart from within. That's what the Jesuit order has done to America. And that is what is coming to America, I believe. I believe. I don't know what really, what the Jesuits are going to do. Who knows? But I can tell you this. I can tell you this. Whoever the Jesuit order selects for the next uh, visible head of this nation, it's going to be worse than it is right now. Things are going to keep declining downward. 
And I have long believed and have long said that um, there will come an event. What event? I don't know. Could it be the redemption of the purchased possession? <laughs> God have mercy on all you who get left behind. But I personally believe there's going to be a powder keg kind of event that's going to set everything off. To where I can walk down to the Woodstock Square and I will see rioting in the streets in the Woodstock Square. Okay? I was in Shelbina. And even in Shelbina, you, you are seeing the effects of the woke transgender thing. Even in a little town like Shelbina. Some of y'all, you think you're living out in the middle of nowhere? It's reaching even to those places here in America. Okay? It has spread. It has spread. America's time is almost up. America's time is almost up. How much longer do we got to go? I don't know. It is only by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, that we are left here today. It is. It's by His grace. And as it says in the Scriptures, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, <clears throat> verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. Let's read on to verse 12. And with all deceivableness, deceivableness of unrighteousness, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned, who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. America doesn't want to hear truth. There's no hope for this country. There is no hope. The only hope that there is in this country is on the individual basis. That's why you and I, dear saints, that's why you and I, we have to be vigilant. We have to be diligent. Be instant in season, out of season. Whenever the Lord opens a door, any chance we get, plant a seed. Plant a seed. It's going to be interesting to see what happens coming here in the future. Don't know what's going to be happening. But um, we need to be prepared. And you know, sooner or later, the paper dollar, kind of like the Weimar, uh, Weimar Republic, a uh, link for that will be in the description box so you can look into that yourself. Um, sooner or later, our fiat currency is going to go belly up. And then what are you going to do? Take a wedge of your uh, troy ounce of silver or gold to Walmart and try to exchange it? How's that going to work? And all the while, the enemy wants us to be distracted, going off on topics, going off on things that distract us, the body of Christ, saints, from warning, doing what we're supposed to do. rare little rant for you here today. I normally normally don't do videos like this, but this this was the exception today. Some videos are coming, Lord willing, uh, sometime soon, Lord willing, uh, on uh, the backup channel, Least of All Fellowship. There may be coming a Least, uh, least of All, uh, Bread of Life podcast. Uh, we are long overdue for that. 
but um, but yeah. Anyway, that's just sharing uh, just sharing a little thought with you this morning. Thank you so much for watching. If you do, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.